is called Props Infomercial, and it's for Franny and Andy. What I need from you guys, I need, they're going to do an infomercial for you about a, a, a household item. Can you give me one? Toaster. A, a toaster, but this toaster does something amazing that you have never expected. It sends facts. It it, it untoasts. It sends it back. <laughs> it takes it back to factory setting. I'm pretty sure that the toaster does untoast bread. <laughs> so it makes bread. Okay. It's an untoaster. <laughs> I have one of those. It's pretty fun. Dudley! Mary. Mary. <laughs> I have been excited about products before, folks, but this one takes the cake. Or takes the bread. Oh! oh! I've been practicing oh, that all night, all night in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, let, let's talk a little bit about this, this product. Now this is never before seen for good reason, or is it? That, let's or find out. Or is it? Why have we kept this from the public, from people who obviously are in need, desperate need of this device? People need the untoaster. The untoaster. Un. That's the key here, folks. Not the toaster. No. That's at Walmart. No, yeah. <laughs> this is the untoaster, and you can only get it here for low installments. Three. Three thousand. Installments of twenty nine ninety nine. <laughs> it's a lot. And you know what? We're actually giving away a, a gift with the first people who who order these. And you are gonna get a, a dustpan, which is what you're gonna get. Because there's a lot of crumbs that come with the untoaster. Because when you take it back to factory when setting. When you bring it back. Sweep, sweep, sweep. I mean, what do you think they do with the toasted parts? They give it to the poor. They do. They give it to the poor. And they like to use um Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sometimes the poor people don't really want it. So it's good to tie them down yeah. and hold them down with it. Or that's also another good thing. Just, just fling a that, fun game. You just fling that crust right at their face. <laughs> They're fans. They're fans of that. It sticks there to the dirt and they can eat it for days afterwards. Now, it's great. Now for those of you still watching after that, Mary, let's talk about some non-traditional uses for the untoaster. Now, the first one is not something I'd recommend for everybody. You can actually just just roll that bread. You just make uh -huh. it flat, and then it's yeah. called flatbread, friends. <laughs> it is that just called, happened. It is, it is called flatbread. They like to use the flatbread when torturing people in <laughs> Ethiopia. Ethiopia in particular. Yes. Um, they, they just bash the bread in front of them. And the Ethiopians really want to eat it. But it's like oh, to serve. We don't. We don't let them. No. Oh, Mary. No, Something no. we hate. It's Ethiopians. <laughs> you know. I know what else I hate. I'll tell you. I'm gonna tell you what I hate. Um, I, I hate when I have to stab people to get them to light the on toaster. <laughs> You should just call right now, folks. Remember, 3,000 payments of an aforementioned price. $29.99. That's what that 3, was. 3,000 payments of $29.99. And if you're our ninth caller... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. You just spread that uh, out. <laughs> uh-huh. And you just jam that in, in the on toaster. Yes. Yep. And when you do that, mm -hmm. you can actually get a radio sing signal... This is good. ...from Russian spies. Yeah. Also, your government's gonna love you. Yeah, you're a patriot and a bread eater at the same time. It's how much more American can you get? You really can't. Or can you? I will tell you how much more American you get. You can get a coat hanger and hang up coats. That's what you yes. do. That's exactly what you do. Not for that other use.